my favorite aspects of the warrior archetype. The warrior precedes a strong hero, a heroic ideal within you, the striving towards the harmonious totality, towards your potential, and writing that story for yourself. And once you plant your feet on the ground on that road towards that worthy ideal, here we begin the warrior's training. First aspect of the warrior is aggressiveness, a forward lean into life. The warrior is moving forward. He is not in his head thinking about, oh, what to do, how to act, all these different things. The warrior is engaged with life. The best way I've found to build this kind of forward lean into life, my friends, is getting into that hip hop spirit, getting to the gym, feeling alive, moving powerfully, right? Going to kickboxing classes, martial arts, you know, like primal movement, long hikes, anything to get the body moving. Because when the body is feeling strong, the mind can feel strong, right? Courage starts in the body. Hold your body in the countenance of courage. Practice courage in how you move, strength in how you move. And that'll ripple into the other layers of your life and build more fire into your life. The warrior has that initiative, that initiative, that initiatory energy. And that's part of the aggressiveness. You know, what things are you procrastinating on? How can you learn to conquer the first 10 minutes? How can you learn to just get aggressive, to get bold into life? right? And just conquer the start of things. Aggressiveness. Aspect two, the warrior is alert. He is awake. He is aware. He is present. The warrior is fully in this moment. The magician may be way off over there and the philosopher and the intellectual, right? But the warrior knows that this moment is all there is and he trains. He trains his mind and his body to focus powerfully here and now. The warrior knows how to focus his mind and body because he trains in this moment. Alertfulness, awakefulness, doing breath work, doing meditations, doing really mindful, conscious movement, you know, like qigong, tai chi, yoga, right? getting into the gym, doing martial arts, these kinds of things, this training builds control, it builds skill, it builds self-mastery, it builds excellence. The warrior is concerned with this idea of excellence and mastering or this idea of arete, which is excellence, which is vigor and courage and audacity, this old Greek idea. right? And the warrior is trying to embody that in all of his training. The warrior trains. You think of Luke Skywalker with Yoda doing hand, one hand push-ups and using the force. Or you think of a you know a samurai warrior or you think of any great martial artist or you think of any you know epic tale of a warrior there's training a lot of it. Mindfulness. We touched on the first part of the twofold mindfulness the warrior possesses, and that is the alertfulness, the awakefulness, that Zen way of the warrior, that Tao of the warrior, right? The second fold mindfulness that the warrior comes to grips with is death, is the end. The warrior, like the samurai warrior, would wake up and meditate upon death every morning. And through honoring death, the warrior affirms life. You cannot cherish the person in front of you unless you're prepared to say goodbye to them. You cannot truly see and love and honor a, your partner unless you're willing, unless separation is on the table or has been considered that you could lose them today, that they could walk away, that they could perish. Anything that has began will have an ending. Anything that once begun will end, my friends. And the warrior knows and is mindful of that fact and accepts the end. He knows the end. A way to practice this, my friends, is think about those things you're most attached to in your life, whether it's money, whether it's love, whatever you're desiring. The warrior sees that that shall end. And through embracing and accepting that pain, that loss, he affirms life, he affirms love. 
By affirming suffering, you affirm and embrace love. Love and suffering go hand in hand. Pain and pleasure, hand in hand. Beginnings and endings, hand in hand. The warrior knows this. He is prepared, right? Every day he lives it and cherishes that day or cherishes that activity because it might be the end. You know, to bring this into your life, my friends, like a practice of really sitting with saying goodbye to those you most love in your life. Saying goodbye to the location in which you live. Goodbye to your career, to your job. The warrior, you know, is aware of the end. Okay. The next aspect I want to get into is self-reliance. The warrior is constantly building skill. He is affirming life. He is moving forward into life. And through that practicing that courage, that strength, that excellence in activities, he develops his inner resources and brings forth unique qualities that he, that he uh, creates skill in. He builds skills, essentially, right? He has the courage to have the creative discipline. He has the strength to create the creative discipline to learn to play the guitar or learn Photoshop, or learn to build a business, or you know, master working out, or whatever it is, writing a book, right? The warrior builds skills, okay? And those skills and that courage lead to self-reliance, lead to faith in oneself, that wow, I can take care of myself, that wow, I have accepted the ends of things, the ending, the death of everything that has once started, and I have moved through many new beginnings and many endings. And I realize, and I am no longer afraid. I no longer fear change. I, am, I have faith in myself. I have skills. I have opportunities that are abundant in my life because I am giving. I am growing. I am actualizing my potential. Life is becoming ever more fruitful. Therefore, I have less fear and I have more courage, right? To go into the mystery of life. The warrior creates freedom for himself through that self-reliance. A really important aspect of the warrior, I should have hit on him right at the beginning. <laughs> the warrior knows his damn purpose and is decisive in life. Decisive in life. Okay. So many of us are stuck in our heads thinking of like, should I do this? Should I do that? When really none of it's of any consequence. The warrior doesn't really care if he's wrong. He's going to be hot or he's going to be cold, but he's not going to be lukewarm. He's going to choose a path decisively. And what he's going to do is rely on his body, on his instincts, and on awareness of his clear purpose. The warrior is committed to a clear purpose, a worthy ideal. Whether that's building a business, writing a book, being a great father, building a, a family, building a relationship, the warrior is clear on his purpose and decisive in his action. The warrior acts. He does not think. He acts. He goes on instinct. He goes on intuition. He goes with clarity of purpose and is decisive. Indecision, my friends, and doubt is where the devil enters. When we're indecisive, you know, all of a sudden we get stuck in our heads. The warrior's like, just takes a fucking sword to that shit and chooses a way. Even if he's wrong, he's going to be wrong in a fucking bold way. The warrior is decisive and clear in his purpose. What is your worthy goal, my friends? What is your aspiration and your goal or your mission? Your aspiration being where are you aiming the arrow of your highest hope? Hopefully it's at your solar glory, the actualization of your full potential, whatever glimpse, whatever glimmer you may get of that. And what is your worthy goal? What duty are you self-assigning yourself? You know, get clear on that. Those are my favorite aspects of the warrior, although there is many more. This is another video on warriorship. There's gonna be a playlist link in the description below. Go watch my other video on the way of the warrior. Um, and just, you know, many of my recent videos have been about warriorship in some aspect. Thanks for being here. This is Reality Files. I'm Christian. If you enjoyed this short, potent, fiery message, hit that like button. Drop a comment below with your thoughts. And if you want to talk to me one-on-one, -on -one, there's a link in the description for a free discovery call. I offer really powerful coaching 
with brothers and sisters out there. Thanks for being here. If you want my breathwork freebie, link also for that in the description below. Peace out. Stay strong, my friends.